Hello everybody and welcome back to Chibi Robo. Last episode was pretty exciting. We finished up a bunch of the side quests. And we actually continued with the Dino Funky Phil one. Apparently Funky Phil is now dead, even though he was just a toy. Yeah, some pretty intense stuff's going on. Anyhow, not really sure what we'll be doing in this episode. Oh, first thing we can do. Jenny, we got another frog report. I was finding it interesting that when you're carrying your plug and running around in the daytime, the music speeds up, but in the nighttime, it doesn't. Hey, Jenny. Over here. Yay, Chibi! Over here. You're a great cook, Chibi. Oh, this again. We're best friends. Brrrr. Oh, I mean, ribbit. Here's your frog ring. Thank you very much. Jenny just gave you 30 free happy points. You got 50 moolah. Spread the happiness. If you collect one more, something good will happen. But where is that last blasted frog ring? I just don't know. Actually, I do know. We can't get it yet. Now, is the dad going to be in the kitchen, or is he going to be in the backyard? Now, if he's in the kitchen, there's something we can give him, I believe. And we can also do the cooking minigame again if we want, and <laughs> we can mess it up. <laughs> or, if he's not in the kitchen, maybe the great Pico will finally be in his fishbowl. His fishbowl. Up the dads in here, all right. Great Pico won't be in here. Hey, Dad. Hey, hey Chibi Robo, you have a primopule. Give it to me. Um, sure. I mean, it's not like I can really do much with primopule. Hey, that's kind of cute. Oh sweet! It's a primopule! Dad just gave me 30 free happy points! You got 50 moolah! Spread the happiness! I love how the dad is the one who's like, I want that stuffed animal! Not Jenny. <laughs> Let me turn it on here. Primopule! It talks! Man, how cool is that? <laughs> the dad is such a great character. I love him so much. Help me, Chibi Robo! Jenny said she's hungry, but I'm hungrier than she is! So, what we need to do with this? Burgers, again! Huh? A bun? Meat? Um, a uh, stove? Whatever, come on, help me cook some burgers! Yes, that's what I wanted to hear! I can't get near food without burning it! No one wants hamburger briquettes! Let's grill some burgers! Okay, I'm going to explain the process again, if in case you forgot it. First, we do prep work. This time, we're going to screw the burger process up. Hey, set those buns on the plates. Chip robots on the plate. I can't do this myself. I need the cleaning robot to help out. <laughs> I can get the buns out, I can put them down, but I can't put them down on the plates. That's just too much. By the way, this is Colorful Artie's tip of the day. I would encourage everybody to learn how to cook at least some things. Learn to cook what you like. Because, yeah, you can technically survive just on, uh, like, ramen or going out every night. Next, we grill the meat. But learning to cook stuff from scratch, let me tell you, it tastes so much better. It's way healthier for you, and it's cheaper in the whole run. Well, maybe it's not cheaper than ramen. Can we put this on the buddy and patty just raw? That's not done yet! Chibi Robo, get your spoon out! <laughs> Alright. Use your spoon to flip those patties. Okay, so thankfully it doesn't let you just put raw beef on there. So that's on two on that side. Now it's on three. 
Cook them until both sides are brown. They'll burn if you grill them too long. Watch for the smoke and wait for free. Uh-oh. That one just got burned a little bit. Uh-oh, that one got burned a lot bit. Actually, I think four is still acceptable. Hey, the beef cooked while we were standing here talking. <laughs> Are you gonna flip it? No. <laughs> no, not good, not good. The beef is burning. <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> Five now. <laughs> uh, whoops. <laughs> Junior you did so well on your first time. Why are you screwing it up now? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Sanderson, are uh, the smoke alarms working in the house? Smoke alarms? We are too cheap to get those. I love how we're a robot and we are actually just on this lit stove. Mm, that smells great even though it's completely burnt. Oh no! Five! Five! Oh dear! <laughs> hey, Chibi Robo! I thought I said free! Oh well! I wonder if beef tastes good! Well, beef does taste good. This beef might not. <laughs> the dad's like, um, I'm pretty sure the dad's done, but Chibi Robo knows best. He made the best hamburger I ever had last time, and I've been to Shake Shack. Shake Shack is legit. I personally am a Five Guys man myself, though. Oh, is that burning? Yeah, that is burning. It's burned. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> this is not going to be good. I'd like to try this just once in my life. Not this time, though, Telly. Not this time. <laughs> you know what I say? Anyone can cook. Anyone can. But that doesn't mean everyone should. Once you set those buns, we're finished. Wow, that's one fine monkey burger. Because the beef doesn't change color, even though it's burned. <laughs> I also like how that five is backwards. Because it's on the opposite side. I'm starting to get excited, too! Jenny, did you want lettuce or ketchup on your burger? Too bad! Wow, you have telekinesis! Honey Jenny dinner! It's like, the first thing in the day, man. It's not dinner. If anything, it's lunch. Thanks for waiting, Jenny! Jenny's mom doesn't want any? Ribbit. He can speak frog too. It's more fun to eat together. I guess we'll give her portion to Tao. Oh, Tao, watch out for the bridge that's extended. Just ignore that. Okay, let's eat. Oh, I forgot Chibi Robo and... We appreciate the thought, but unfortunately we're robots and we don't want to eat burnt hamburgers anyway. Yeah, you're right. Okay then, we'll just help ourselves. Don't mind us, please, go ahead. Let's eat. Yum, yeah, it. Wait a minute, it's... What is it? Oh yeah, it's burnt to a cinder! Oh, even Tao doesn't like it. Dad just gave you two happy points for trying. Jenny also gave you two happy points for trying. Tao just took away two happy points. No, no, he didn't. You got ten bucks. Spread the happiness, I guess. Moral of the story, let's not ask the robots to cook anymore. Maybe that was actually a really bad idea. <laughs> I want to know where that last chibi door is. Hey, bro. Pardon me. Oh, Chibi Robo, getting along with Primopule? Make sure you pet him. I'm such a slob. I don't want to do it and get him all dirty. Well, at least you're self aware. 
Let's shake your hand and greet you. Let's be friends! Promote me will just give you five happy points! Spread the happiness! Oh! You got the Promobule sticker! You really are amazing, Junior! Well, that was one of the easiest stickers to get in the entire game. So, how are the burgers? Be honest. Help me, Chibi Robo! Oh, I'm so full! <laughs> well, that's not my fault you ate the entire burnt hamburger. Okay, I can't seem to figure out... I even looked it up, and I can't figure out where the door is. I thought I opened all of these. But my best guess is it's over by the ladder somewhere, and I must have missed it. Is it behind these cabinets? There it is! Oh, that is well hidden. That is well hidden. Holy cow. Like, wow, holy cow. Yeah, no wonder that's hard to find. You literally have to be in a very specific spot and, like, use Chibi Vision and look in an exact spot. Holy cow. You can't even change the camera to look at it. it it's literally just... Hope you know where it is. Alright, well, I feel better about not finding that now. I didn't even have a whole lot of money in it. Wow, that was a voice crack. Which is amazing, because I hit puberty like almost ten years ago. Anyways, we are done with the kitchen now, at last. And it just occurred to me, the Great Pico actually might be in the backyard. Now that Funky Phil has died, I believe the Great Pico actually appears in the backyard, if no one's there. Sorry, Tao, I'm not going through the trouble of mopping up more of your dirty footprints. The backyard. Again. There he is! He's on the swing! Wait, no. Tao's gonna be like, You've got a dog bone! I want it! And I'll be like, No, I need it. And he'll be like, Oh, dang! Yep, there he is. He's doing a handstand on the yellow block! And we need the yellow block. Hey, dude, I kind of want that. Oh, more upside down text, huh? <laughs> if you want this, come to the basement at night. All right. I got money to purify my soul, so that's cool. Oh, have my flowers grown yet? They're blossoming. If I water them... Okay, now watering them does nothing. I also want to say eventually the cracked window gets fixed. And by fixed, I mean they put another sticker over it. Because <laughs> at this point, it's not just like, how about we just leave the back door open for days? <laughs> How did all this stuff get up here? Did the dad be like, oh, I just ate some chocolate covered raisins, but now my hands are all chocolatey. I'll just wipe them up here. Nobody ever looks up here. <laughs> is this gonna be another day where we, yeah, this is totally gonna be another day where we can't reach the last chibi room, chibi door in Jenny's room. All right, well, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Taste, taste, you shouldn't be slacking off. I love how he's only wearing the tuxedo here in the microphone when you do this, though. Oh, but, sorry, I don't mean to rush you. You have a lot on your plate right now. Oh, so how about this? Hey, check it out. I won the Robot Idol TV show. I'll sing you a song. It's called Teriyaki Blues. Robot idol. Clearly Simon wasn't one of the judges. Oh, come on! 
God, I want to hear his song. <laughs> or maybe I don't. I can't sing with that voice. Oh, you got the Tony sticker. You really are amazing, Chigurama. I told you it was worth it eventually. Goodbye. I just gave you 21 happy points. Spread the happiness. <laughs> there, now we can stop sitting down on stools. Ah, yes. Ah, uh, hi, spiders. There's honestly not a lot of point in destroying you guys anymore. There we go. I forgot about this door. Actually, we might have enough time to go to Jenny's room again. No. You know what? Just no. Space cram word, yep. Spiders, you need a new hobby. <laughs> Gee, this, the the ladder's like, no, Spider, can't run it over. Uh, I'm definitely shot you. Sometimes this toothbrush is actually a better way of destroying them. So we haven't done a whole lot in terms of plot this episode, but we finally found a lot of the chibi doors. Alright, that, was that the last of the invisible chibi doors? Yes, indeed. So there's one more in the foyer somewhere. Did I ever get the one that was just hanging out, like halfway up the staircase? Uh, yeah, I did. Alright. Well, really not much else we can do today. I love how much energy it takes to just fall asleep. Time sure flies when you're making folks happy! That's true. <laughs> Other than burning the hamburgers, I actually made a lot of people happy today. I cleaned up a lot of stains. Great work out there! Your achievement ranking is still five. In order to get the next bonus better, you need four more happy points. I should have just thrown out some trash. Well, you're here, Chief Robo. Would you like to save? Yes. That's going to do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Colorful Arty. Next episode, things are going to get exciting. I promise you that. Uh, actually, next episode, we might finally kickstart like, the end of the plot of the game. So that will be really exciting. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless.